boys and girls and welcome to this week's episode of Explorers. Today is a very special day because as you know, it's Easter. So a very happy Easter to all of you out there. Now, to start off today, I've got some very special birthday messages I need to give. And today's first birthday wish is to Alana. Alana turned 11 back on March the 30th. So Alana, Happy birthday to you. I hope you had a wonderful day and were able to celebrate with your brothers and your family. And we also have to wish a happy birthday to Sarah Ann. Now, Sarah Ann turned 10 just this Monday, gone on the 6th of April. And 10, congratulations that that is a bit of a milestone. I hope you were also able to celebrate and have lots of fun. Now, boys and girls, we need to sing. I want everyone at home to sing happy birthday with me and help wish these beautiful girls a wonderful birthday. Let's sing now two versions of happy birthday and we'll say Alana's name and then Sarah Ann's name. Here we go. One, two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Alana and Sarah Ann. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, only one will not do. Take Christ as your saviour and then you'll have two. Happy birthday to both of you girls. Now, let's start Explorers with a word of prayer. So boys and girls at home, heads bowed, eyes closed, let's talk to God. Dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you that we can have explorers and thank you for Easter and for the wonderful thing that Easter is all about. Lord, I pray a very special blessing for Alana. Thank you that she's turned 11 and thank you that, uh, Lord, we just ask your blessing upon her. Lord, we also thank you for Sarah Ann. Thank you that she had a birthday as well. Lord, we ask for your blessing upon her and her family. May both these girls have a wonderful year. Keep them safe and in your care. Amen. All right, before we have our games time, I was thrilled this week to get a wonderful email from one of our Explorers families. If you remember last week, we did a lot of balloon games. And we got this video and I'd like to share it with you. Hello, Mrs. Nicole. This is my me, my sister and my brother playing balloon volleyball like it showed on the video. Thank you so much, Sarah Ann, Olivia and Joshua. It was great to see you guys having loads of fun. Except I don't really know how Olivia managed to be against her two brother, big brother and sister. But knowing you, Olivia, I'm sure you held your own. So great work, guys. Keep those videos coming in. All right, we've got some special Easter games. So it's over to you, Mr. Justin. Hello, Explorers. Um, I'm, I hope you've had a good week uh, doing lots of fun things at home with your family. Um, We've just got a, one game for you this week, uh, being Easter. Uh, everyone likes to do an Easter egg hunt, so we thought we'd do a scavenger hunt for you. So grab yourselves a towel um, for each person doing it in your household, and um, give yourselves, and also time, time yourselves with the activity. So grab a stopwatch, get one of your parents to help time the activity, and then at the end of the, at the end of the uh, message time, after Mrs. Nicole's prayed, we'll put up the full list. You can pause it there and um, see all the objects you have to get. I'm going to quickly run through it now, and Elijah's going to give you an example of what to, what to grab. So here's, here's the list. So we've got something red, something yellow, something blue, something green, a square, a circle, something rectangular, so something in the shape of a ball, um, something soft, something hard, something smooth in the house or out in the backyard, something rough, uh, something taller than you, something you can eat, something you wear on your head, 
and something you wear on your feet. So have a think about that, and uh, when you when you start the time up, go run around your house, out in your backyard if you have one, and find these objects, put them on your towel, and stop the timer when you're finished. We would love, love it if you could send in a photo um, of, of the participant holding a piece of paper with how long it took them, and the objects laid out in front of them on the towel. That'd be great if you could send that through to our, our email, and we'll reveal next week who was the fastest time. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks for that. I'm really looking forward to seeing how well you guys go with that treasure hunt. Can you find all those items? How quickly can you do it? Please let us know how you go with that. Now, boys and girls, it is time to sing. So that's right, hop up off the couch and sing along with me. We're going to warm up our voices by singing our favourite uh, song at Explorers, I'm the Way, the Truth and the Life. Ready? Here we go. One, two. I am the way, the truth and the life, that's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth and the life, that's what Jesus said. Without the way there is no going, without the truth there is no knowing, without the life there is no growing. I am the way, the truth and the life, that's what Jesus said. Great job everybody. Now that you warmed up, I would like us to sing another one of our explorers favourites, which is bold as a lion, brave as a bear. Now, I can't hold the cardboard and do the actions, but I'm hoping that all you at home are gonna do the actions and just make them up if you can't quite remember how they go. Ready? One, two. Bold as a lion, brave as a bear, take the news of Jesus to people everywhere. Shout the gospel story, Give God the glory, be bold as a lion, brave as a bear. Now, if you know me, sometimes I like to change things up a little bit just to have fun. So, while we do love our lions and our bears, all of God's creatures are amazing. So let's pick another couple of animals to use in this song. This week, I thought we should do bold as a cheetah and brave as a wolf now try that again with me we're going to sing it again but don't get confused by the lion and the bear we're going to sing bold as a cheetah brave as a wolf and at the very end you let out a wolf howl okay in the lounge room a big wolf howl here we go one two Bold as a cheetah, brave as a wolf, take the news of Jesus to people everywhere. Shout the gospel story, give God the glory, be bold as a cheetah, brave as a wolf. A <laughs> I hope you enjoyed singing that. I certainly did. One more song, boys and girls, before we have our story time, and that song is going to be He's Able. All right, sing along with me. One, two. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He healed the broken hearted and he set the captive free. He made the lame to walk again and he caused the blind to see. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. Great singing. Take a seat now, everybody.
brings us to the most important part of Explorers, and that is our Bible story. Now, because it's Easter and a special episode, I've asked a very special person if they could give the investigation lesson today. And I'm going to let them explain in just a minute. But for now, boys and girls, you need to turn your listening ears on, open your listening heart, sit up nice and straight and be very well behaved. And remember, maybe mum or dad is watching you to see if you are a very good listener. Hello boys and girls, my name's Carolyn. Tonight I'm coming to you from Lismore up in New South Wales. I'm not a normal part of Explorers, but up here we have a very similar kids club. It's called BLAST. It stands for Building Lives Around Scriptural Truths. And every Friday we have a great time just like you. And this very special Friday, Good Friday, Mrs Nicole, who, yes, does look an awful lot like me, asked whether I would be able to share with you an, ex uh, an exploration of a very important question. What's so good about Good Friday? Well, most of you know that Good Friday has something to do with Jesus. Maybe you know that it actually has something to do with remembering and helping us to think about the time that he died. And maybe you know the story. Maybe you know that Jesus was a great healer and teacher and friend to many people. Maybe you know that he was in fact the son of God. And when he lived on the earth, he taught people about God and showed them God's love and God's power. But some people got very jealous and very angry at Jesus. And they made a plan to capture him and to kill him. Let me read to you some of this story and you might know this already. But this is what Good Friday helps us to remember. And here from the Bible, it's, it tells us, Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. They dressed him up so they could make fun of him. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns they put it on his head and a reed in his hand and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him saying hail king of the jews and they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him hit him on the head and after they had mocked him they took the robe off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. At this time, after they had also beaten and whipped him, they made him carry a great beam of wood up the hill. And when they got there, they stretched him out onto that wood and got very large nails and they nailed his hands to that stretch of wood and they put nails in his feet and they lifted the cross and left him there in agony, in pain so that he would die. So what's so good about that? It's an awful, horrible thing that happened to Jesus. So why do we call the day that we remember it Good Friday? Shouldn't it be Bad Friday? Well, I'll tell you why it is a Good Friday to remember this. 
Because when I remember that Jesus died in this way, it actually is a way that tells me how much he loves me. And it tells you how much he loves you. You see, we have a problem. And that problem is sin. God is perfect and pure and holy and loving. And we come short of that. We do not love God on our own. We are not truthful. We are not kind. We have been disobedient. We have been mean. We have sinned. The Bible teaches us that the result of our sin, what will happen because of our sin, because of your sin and my sin, is that we will not be allowed to be a part of God's family. He will reject us. He will not let us go to his home in heaven. But you will be separated, I will be separated from God forever in a terrible place called hell. And this is a big problem. This is a scary problem. I have this sin problem and I don't want to have this problem. But the good news is that when Jesus died, he made a way to save us, to get rid of our sin. And so he was willing to die that horrible death to save us because he loves us. Boys and girls, Jesus loves you. The Bible tells us this in Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But God shows us his love in that when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. In John chapter 3 verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world, that's you, that if you believe on Jesus, you won't perish, you won't have that sin problem, but will have everlasting life. Let me show you, show you this. Here's my heart. And it was like this. It was dirty. And even when I tried to do the right thing, it didn't get rid of how dirty my heart was, the sin in my heart. I tried being good. I tried praying. But nothing I could do could take away my sin. And this is where Jesus comes in. You see, when I believe in Jesus, when I trust Jesus, it's like God takes all of my sin and he puts it on Jesus. And he'll see that Jesus has died. Jesus has paid the punishment for our sin. And you know what's so special? When I believe in Jesus, he takes my sin and he gives me a new heart, a clean heart. And with my clean heart, he will take me as a part of his family. And one day I will get to go to his home in heaven. And I don't have to be worried or scared about hell anymore. And this is why this Friday is so good. Why it's such a very good day. Because it tells me how much God loves me. And it tells me how I can have my heart clean and become a part of his family. Maybe right now, God is telling you in your heart that he loves you. He wants you to be a part of his family. 
but that your heart is still dirty with sin. Maybe right now he's saying, I love you. I want to forgive you. I want to make you a part of my family. Believe in me so that I can give you that clean heart. And if God is telling you right, that right now, listen to him. Admit that you are a sinner. And this stops you having a relationship with God. Believe that Jesus died on the cross. He was buried and rose again. And call on him. Ask him to forgive you and to save you. And if you are feeling like that in your heart right now, then maybe you would like to pray a, a simple prayer like this. And God will hear it. And he will take your sin, give it to Jesus and clean your heart. Maybe a simple prayer like this. Dear God, I know that I am a sinner. I know that because of my sin, I will go to hell and not be with you in heaven. I believe that Jesus died on the cross, was buried and rose again, and was seen of many people. I believe Jesus did this for me because he loves me. Please come into my heart and make it clean. Please take away my sins. And forgive me. Please make me one of your children. I ask this in the name of Jesus. So, explorers, this is why Good Friday is a good day. Because it reminds us that God took something really terrible, the death of his son, and turned it into a way to show us his love and to be able to save us and forgive us. This is a great Friday for me because I know that Jesus has forgiven my sins and that I'm a part of his family. Please make sure this is a good Friday to you. Make sure you're a part of God's family because otherwise it will be a bad Friday and a very sad Friday. And we don't want that to be the case. Thank you for letting me share with you tonight. I'll be praying for you and we'll pray together uh, and thank Jesus for being such a wonderful, loving God to us. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing that story with us, Mrs. Carolyn. And I hope that answers the question for you boys and girls. What, why is Good Friday so good? What a beautiful answer we have learned. The reason why Good Friday is good is because it tells us how much God loves us. Now to finish Explorers tonight, we're going to finish the way we always do, and that's with a memory verse. Mrs. Carolyn used a story, a verse, sorry, from the Bible in her story, and that was Romans chapter five, verse eight. And this is a great verse for us to learn. And it says, but God demonstrated his own love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Now, boys and girls, as you learn that verse this week, I'm going to ask you to do it in a special way. You see, this verse is actually talking about you and about me. And I want you to make it a personal verse. So, this is how I want you to learn it, but with your name. But God demonstrated his love for Nicole McDonald in that while I was yet a sinner. Christ died for me. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. I'd really love to see some videos of you saying that verse, but making it a special personal verse for you. Well, that's it for Explorers this week. I hope you've enjoyed our episode. I hope you've had a wonderful Easter and most importantly that you've spent some time thinking about the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did for you. Let's close in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for, for Easter. 
We thank you that we can remember that Jesus died for us. I pray that each one of these boys and girls would know that Jesus is their saviour. And Lord, I pray that you would keep all of the explorers out there safe, keep them in your care. And Lord, I pray we'd be able to meet again soon. In your name, amen. See you next week. All right, just before we uh, put up the list, um, we have Elijah who ran around. You can see the photo now, um, it's up on the screen. He grabbed all these objects from around our house and he did it in three minutes and one second. So there's the time to beat on your first attempt. Remember, first attempt, not your third or fourth. So send in those photos and we'll um, reveal next week who was the fastest to gather all those objects. So here's the list. Have fun and have a great Easter. See you later.